all that. Bye. Is this not strategizing RuneScape in the middle of the late game? Yes. That was a kill? Are you sure? That- ah, Yeah, that was a kill. He E's onto me though and ignites me though. So that's scary. If I go for two- It's two turret shots to kill him there because I need my next Q to kill him. Rizera, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Nah, guys, I'll just do AFK souls while I work on League of Legends projects and my vein top document. That's what I'll do. I'll keep it chill. We will chillax. What about ADC guy? Yeah, we'll work on that too at some point. There's, you know what I've realized, guys, when it comes to streaming? And probably in life too. This probably applies to life. What I've realized is... There's always more work to be done. No matter how many things you complete... In streaming... There's more shit you can do, always. That's the realization that I've come to. This is always new shit you can do, more collaborations you can do, more value you can provide to your viewers. But you know what? That's not a bad thing. That is a good thing. It's just kind of overwhelming if you think about it though. But that's what makes it interesting. Do you enjoy low elo or high elo games more? Low elo. The reason why I enjoy low elo games more is because I can interact more with you guys and make more jokes and stuff. Uh, and there's actually action in low elo games, whereas high elo games, I'm legit AFK farming for 25 minutes, which is not fun at all. I'm legit just sitting there AFK. All right, guys, I'm two, two, and two. I traded because I was on weak side a couple times, and I got like eight CS per minute. That's fun. Okay, the game's over because my teammates carried. Okay, nice. No YouTube video. And then I was full focus the entire time too, so I wasn't even talking to my chat. <laughs> like, that's, that's pretty much how Elo games. Did you have a death noted emote? It, it's, it's in 7TV, I think. Try typing note. D I think Deepcorn has used it recently. This is D1 though. We're playing in Diamond 1, so it's like, okay, Elo. Like, they're still kind of They can beat me in lane if I troll. Which I kind of did earlier, to be fair. A deep corn just used it. What's it called? I, I can't cover it. That one? Yeah, that one, I think. That was not good, but I'll take it, I guess. Well, there goes the next wave. I can't walk up. Are you fucked? But it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. It is what it is. Shut down. What's up, Penta Ward? HHG, thanks for the follow. Almira, thanks for the follow. Why do people play Shadows turned off and terrain settings on low? The reason why I play everything with low, there's two reasons. Number one is because I'm used to it. I used to play on a Mac, so I had to play very low settings to get 30 F just to get 30 FPS when there's no minions on the map. That's the reason number one. Uh, so that leads to 
reason 1.5, which is now if I go above medium settings, my eyes hurt a lot because it's too much to process in the game. Number three, which is the a good reason, right? A good reason to have everything on very low is because it simplifies the game. And on top of that, it makes it so that your computer less likely lags. Even if you have a 30, 70, 30, 90, 5,000, whatever bullshit, the new stuff that's come out. Even if you have all that bullshit, um, it's, still, it's still best to play on very low. The only time very high settings is good is if you're recording something from spectator mode and you want it to look nice for a YouTube video. That's the only time anything should be on high. So that's my opinion. You can disagree if you want, but that's the reason why I do my stuff. I hear Viego. Sub, I'm not Goblin. I hate it how when Wukong levels up his Q, the range becomes longer, so he can reach you, actually. It's so annoying. Come on, come on! People watching Morbius? Ain't no way, bro. The spacing is so good. It's okay. Is I any non-cannon into cannon wave crashes into noon two non-cannons back from Wukong? I'm gonna lose three melees from the next wave, based on the based on the minion waves. But it is what it is. Or I'll die here, one or the other. I could actually straight up die. Hi, Viego! Oh no, I'm gonna get frozen on. I'm gonna lose six minions, actually. But it is what it is. It just simply is. It's just the reality. Alright! Viego did Herald. My Nidalee is getting stuff done bot, which is good. Good job. The reason why I'm not super angry is because they're actually doing stuff Bali. And they have dragon. If they were getting nothing done, I'd be Omega Smadging right now. Just Omega Smadging. What? Why are you always here? You were just mid heralding. He's like Sasuke was late on my way. On my way. I would camp a vein stuff. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a little annoying for me. A little bit of annoyance. Ooh, you missed my boy. What's up, Wonder? How you doing today? An enemy has been slain. Shut down. You good, Nidalee? Nice too! Bye, noob. Not so strong without your jungler, huh? He's in a counter matchup into Vayne and he's calling his jungler for help. My jungler rolls up for one second, the Wukong immediately just dies of cringe.
How is Wu a counter to Vayne? Because he's st he's what counters Vayne? Oh, I have no mana. I had no mana. <laughs> All right, what counters Vayne? Let's look at let's look at the basics. Things that counter Vayne: point and click. Okay, one. Number two, stickiness. Okay. Did I outplay him? I did. Stickiness counters Vayne. Number three, engage. Okay, what does Wukong have? All three of those. <laughs> no skill shots, stickiness, and engage. Yap close. He has all three traits that destroy Vayne. So, yes. Wukong is a counter to Vayne. Oh, what, what else does he have? It's just a little bonus. A bonus on top of all those things. CC. What counters Vayne also? CC. What does his ult do? CC. So, legit, all of his abilities counter Vayne. Oh, and here's the kicker. Just, 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 just if that wasn't enough for you. You can accidentally E his clone. And you would just get fucked. That's more on you though, as a Vayne player, to fuck up. But that's a possibility. How should you play the matchup? Well, how? Like this. You legit AFK farm for the entire time, you maybe see if he makes a mistake, and then you try to win. Like, like literally this entire gameplay, like, that I was just playing. That's how to play against Wukong. Except the level 1. The level 1 is a little grief for me to only get his base out, but it was okay. I can't deal with that. And if they're fucking stupid, you can kill them like that. I leveled my Q instead of my ult. That's a very common thing I do at level 11 sometimes on main. Instead of leveling my ult, I level my Q. Or your W if you put more points in Q. Five gold. The reason why that wasn't going to work from Wukong is because he doesn't have ult. If he had ult, he would have been fine. I did not say always go Q over R on level 11. I did not say that. Now he has double sums. I can't help. I'm just going to farm, brother. Sorry. You're dead. You got to dodge it all. Bye. An ally has been slain. I know you ran around like 30 people and to be honest you should have ran to turret. My turret. You fucked up. But... Sucks for you. Edge of Night. Hmm. I wish there was an item, aside from Gale Force, that could break Edge of Night. Hmm. Maybe if Bilgewater was still in the game. Go Redemption. Ain't no way, fam. Deathfire Grass. Titanic? No, not Titanic. They can't break. It's not an active. Gunblade. Okay. You're just coping. If Okay, actually, guys, I'm gonna say it. Bring back old Blade of the Rune King, please. 
I, I said yesterday, don't bring it back. Please, for the love of God, bring back old Rageblade. Please. That would actually save my life so much. I'ma say it, bring it back. Right, gangs, bring it back, please. I need, I need help. Bring it back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No wait resets, right? Do I win? Ah, smart. I don't want to find out. I don't want to find out. The more you fuck around, the more you're going to find out. <laughs> Saskio is not going to fuck around. If I don't fuck around, I don't find out. <laughs> Gold? Nope, not mine. So bad. Edge of Night. My voice. My boy, what are you doing? Oh shit, what is that? Ooh, it's beer. Wait. Wait a minute. Heck, wait a minute. Heck, wait.
He actually killed the Viego before he went down. My boy was useless, Draven. He was like split pushing top or something. There we go, Mythic third item. Yeah, right now, this is third item, pretty much. Aside from QSS. QSS is just like a weird buy. Very commonly, if it's Vork Rage Blade, then Kraken or Immortal. That's like the common third mythic. Oh shit, we're fighting. Oh, they got Zaya out of all that. That's so funny. Nah, don't ping me. I was doing Dragon with Nidalee, the proper play, and then now I'm pushing bot, which is also another proper play instead of going to a 50-50 mid. Hey, yeah. Why am I being pinged? I am playing the game properly. You guys are playing the game improperly, bruh. Come on, bruh. How do you decide between Bow and Kraken? It's a very simple, it's a very simple formula. Do you need Immortal Shield Bow? No? Okay, go Kraken Slayer. Do you need Immortal Shield Bow? Okay, build Immortal Shield Bow on that third rotation, on that third build. That's a very simple question. That's it. That's it. You literally ask yourself, what the fuck do I need? If you don't need Immortal, then you go Kraken. If you need Immortal, then you go Immortal. This game, I don't need Immortal. They don't have a Rengar or some shit, man. Alright, I'm coming. I'm coming with your shitty groups. I'm away. Saskia's on the way. On the way. On the way, friend. What if I want Gale Force? Who then the flying absolute fuckery is buying Gale Force in 2022? Almost 2023! Fuck some booty, fuck you with me. Alright, I'm here with your shitty groups. I'm grouping with your shitty asses. What do we want? Okay, diamond players, do something. You want me to group like this? Which is the improper way to play the game? I'm doing it. Dude, do something. Go, diamond players, go! Okay, there it is. We did a shitty group. It worked. We got mid and hip. Okay, now I have an excuse to just hard split push. It's because we got mid and hip now. Are we doing Baron or are we basing? Yeah, I'm in the base. I don't think we're doing it right away. Uh, I need item though. Do it, sure. Fuck it. That was best case scenario. What happened, by the way? If we all shitty group like that, grouping like that is terrible. How uh, how we did it. There needs to be more setup. There needs to be more 
pressure. There needs to be at least two, uh, two lane pressure. We had one lane pressure there. If the enemy team wasn't stupid and just AFK'd and did nothing, we would be still fucked if they just sat there and cleared the wave. Because then we have to go back and fix top and bot. It only worked because Velkaz got hooked and it forced the enemy team to fight. And here's the funny thing is even after we landed the hook, all the enemy team had to do was just let the Velkaz die and clear the wave and they'd have been fine. So that's why you can never shitty group there. That's just a dog shit group. But best case scenario happened. We killed them, they baited into the fight, we got in him. Good. And then we got Baron. That was best case. What's up, Yumi's Pajab? But here's the thing, is if you're pushing two lanes at once at least... And the mid one doesn't work, at least you have a bot one to rotate to. Or a top one to rotate to. But mostly bot lane in this case, because there's a tower here. But at least there's options. Which is, which is very uh, simply broken down into a 4-1. We're not doing 131 because if someone 131, someone's gonna die. Every time every single time in solo queue, anyone ever 131s. One of the fucking lanes will die to a failed 131. This fucking level he's looking for me! So bad! I held my invisibility on purpose. Oh yeah, and even in the 